So in Utah, in late July, we often get some monsoonal kind of patterns to our weather. You can see right back there, a really cool thunderstorm coming in. Down here, this is in Washington County, so I'm in the Mojave Desert. This is the time of year when I start seeing velvet ants. So I thought I'd come to some of my standard spots where I've seen them in the past and see what I could find. So it looks like some of these thunderstorms in the last couple days have caused some flash flooding in this in this wash area here. You can see that the ground is still kind of moist, um, especially down in these areas around this, this stand of trees. But despite that flooding, I'm still able to see some velvet ant activity, mainly on the trees. I think they're coming up on these trees to to get some of the, the sap. So beetles will come and wound the tree, and then I think the velvet ants come and drink some of that as a sugary carbohydrate source. So this is what I was looking for. This is Satan's velvet ant. This is Dazimutilla satanus. It's one of the biggest uh, velvet ants in Utah. It is a good sized velvet ant, one of the, the biggest velvet ant species in the Western mimicry ring, the ones that are all covered with orange, reddish, yellowish hair. Pretty cool. So I decided to go farther down the road to another collection site where I often see other velvet ants, and I stopped to look at the storm coming in and try to get some lightning video. And shortly after I took that video, the storm caught up with me and it started raining. So I got to the spot where I usually look for the white fluffy velvet ants, the Dazimutilla gloriosa, but the storm caught up with me. So I guess the benefit of the moisture in the air is the velvet ants are active, but the downside is that sometimes there's too much moisture. It's cool though, desert rainstorms are awesome. Look at that. We should go look for some flash floods.